Hello, I'm Laura Smith for the Finance News Network and joining me from Australia, an iron ore mining company, Flinders Mines, is its managing director, Ian Gordon. Ian, welcome to FNN. Thank you. Now, Ian, you've been appointed as managing director of Flinders Mines. What is your strategy for taking the company forward? Uh, my strategy for taking the company, company forward is to complete the feasibility study for the Pilbara Iron Ore Project and work with our infrastructure partners, Rutila and Todd Corporation, to enable an investment decision in mid-2015. Certainly, and for those shareholders who may not be familiar with you, what is your professional background and experience in the mining industry? Okay, I hold a Bachelor of Commerce degree from Curtin University in Western Australia, and I've been involved in uh, the mining industry for 25 years. For the past five years, I was the Managing Director of ASX Listed Gold Producer Rumelius Resources. Right now, as you mentioned, Flinders Mines is focused on the Pilbara Iron Ore Project in Western Australia. What is the size of the resource and at what stage is the project? So the project currently has a significant resource of about 917 million tonnes of iron ore at a grade of 55% iron and it's currently in the feasibility study stage. This is expected to be completed mid next year and then we'll be in a position to make an investment decision on proceeding with the development of the project. Now, you mentioned the definitive feasibility study. When are you expecting to head into production and what needs to occur before then? Okay, so assuming we make a positive uh, development decision mid-next year, uh, the company will look to develop the project uh, towards the end of 2015 and be in production in, in 2017. We're currently completing the work required for the feasibility study, which includes drilling, metallurgical test work, process plant design and costing, as well as updating our environmental approval. Okay, and Flinders inked an alliance agreement with Rutila Resources earlier this year. How is the alliance facilitating the development of the Pilbara Iron Ore Project? So the Rutila Alliance gives Flinders an infrastructure solution that allows its iron ore to be transported and shipped um, to its customers uh, via a rail and port facility. And this has been the missing link for the project over the last three or four years. Rutila and, and Flinders have now aligned their feasibility studies so that each party can make a decision to invest in the project in the September quarter next year. Right, and Ian, what are the commercial terms of the agreement and estimated capital costs? So Flinders uh, will pay Rutila a service fee for the transport and loading of its ore. Um, and those costs are detailed in our February investor presentation. But overall, uh, we see our capital costs somewhere between $801 billion. Certainly. So as you progress to a final investment decision by the end of next year, could you outline your funding model? OK, our funding model is to keep our capital costs to a minimum on the project so that it can be funded. Um, we're currently in discussions with... Uh, with different groups on funding and we've got a flexible model for funding so at this point um, we plan to achieve a funding decision in the middle of next year and that may be via a range of different types of, of funding including uh, investment from third parties. The declining price of iron ore has unnerved a lot of investors this year. What are your forecast costs of production at this early stage? Well our Forecast cost of production at this stage um, from our pre-feasibility is still well below the current iron ore price. So we think the project, if the iron ore price stays where it is now, is a very robust project. Right. So where do you see the price of iron ore trending over the medium to long term and how does this outlook support your project's investment case? Well, the outlook that we've got at the moment is suggesting that the iron ore price will stay where it is now for the foreseeable future. And as I said previously, we think our costs are robust at that, at that price level. Great. So finally, Ian, as we step into the second half of the year, how will you be hoping to position Flinders Mines by the end of the full year? So by the end of this um, year, we will have completed the feasibility study and that will include all of the drilling that we're currently doing, the mine planning, metallurgical test work and plant design, and we'd look to see that Rutila's key infrastructure approvals have also moved forward. Ian Gordon, thank you for the update from Flinders Mines. Thank you.